this thing will never stop freaking me out. <laughs> uh, hey guys, uh, I gotta boil this damn boom on. Hey guys, this is your boy, Deceptive. Um, yesterday was a shit show. I'm sorry that there was no 24 hour live stream. I was in the hospital. Um, I was there the majority of the day. Thank you, NHS, and your bullshit wait list. Oh, you're in your number 27 in the queue. You are important to us. No, no, I'm not. I'm nothing but a number. But that aside, I figured I'd do a minute, little coffee time with Cobra. And catch up with you. I humbly apologize for the assholes outside doing construction work and have been since 6 a.m. I have no idea what that motherfucker is grinding on, but he has been grinding on something since 6 a.m. Either it does not want to be ground on, or he's using the wrong kind of grinder. And people are like, what do you mean? I'm like, there is metal discs, there's ceramic discs, there's plastic discs, there's wood discs. He's probably using the wrong fucking disc on the wrong material. Because trust me, if you're using the right disc on the right material, you go right through it. Like it doesn't exist. Like it is butter. So he's probably using a wood disc or metal or a metal disc on concrete or something like that. He's using, or he's bought one of those universal discs. Basically it means they're shit. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's why there was no 24-hour live stream. Um, I am sorry for that, guys. I really am. Um, and when I made, <clears throat> I did a little small PSA stream to let you guys know why there was no uh, stream. And a lot of you who were there... Um, basically said don't worry about it it's cool you know it's 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 cool let it go you know and a, a big part of me wanted to say you know no i want to try and another big part of me was like you know what you're right mostly because of the amount of pain i was in i still am in pain don't get me wrong i can mask a lot of things pretty easy um, anger, rage, things of that nature, I don't, I just let that go, because if you hold on to that, it turns into something quite dangerous, but things like sadness, depression, um, pain, I mask those very, very well, um, and I shouldn't, I shouldn't have to, but there is a huge stigmatism around um, around it for being a man and in pain and everything else. There's a big, big, big stigmatism around that, and there shouldn't be. Uh, I did see the 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 I caught the little I I caught up with the um, so-called presidential debate where the god emperor trump wasn't there um and you know what he's right he didn't need to be there the man is so far ahead of everyone no one is in his rearview mirror now vivek ramaswamy yes i even can pronounce the guy's name correctly i'm english we're surrounded by people of his culture so names like vivek are pretty easy last names like ramaswamy are, are fine uh, my doctor's last name is damn near un unpronounceable there are times when I swear even his own family can't pronounce it. This, this is 94 or 95% dark cacao. Nice. Gives you a good sour kick. Offsets the sweetness of the coffee mm. 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 but
I did get a text message from my chemist telling me that my prescription is actually in. So I'm going to go pick that up. So I will have the ability to go live here later. But I'm not allowed to take more than three of them in a day. These specific painkillers. Uh, I'm not allowed to take them uh, more than three in, it, three in a day. Um, so, yeah. And they said I've got to take it with food. So, it's what it is, guys. And I know biscuits are not, are not food. Biscuits are uh, a, a pal de teeth. Uh, You know, so there, there, there are some things that have been bugging me. Um, as you guys I know, I am a man of faith. Um, I have my grandmother's Bible. I have my father's rosary. Um, I used to be a practicing Catholic. I would go to church uh, Wednesdays, uh, Sundays. I would even pray. I still do sometimes. Not every time, but I do pray sometimes. And... Um, I came across this video on Instagram, of all places, Instagram. Not TikTok, because I'm not on TikTok. First things first, let me make this abundantly clear. I am not on TikTok. I will never be on TikTok. I cannot stand TikTok. I do not like short form format uh, information. Because you cannot get... Um, you can't get the full context of what's going on. Case in point, when people on... X or Twitter, formerly known as Twitter. I'm just going to call it Twitter from now. Fuck it. It's, it's to me. It's always going to be Twitter. Okay. On on Twitter, when people post videos of people fighting or people getting screamed at or yelled at or stuff thrown around or smashed or whatnot, they don't show you what the pretext to it was. Case in point, I watched a video of a um, coloured individual. I can't tell his ethnic or or because it looked like it was recorded on a toaster um, walking down the high street with a machete okay granted I'm going to give the guy benefit of the doubt he could be a gardener he could be trimming up palm trees or cutting down fruit or whatever you know I'm going to give the guy benefit of the doubt but the fact he's walking down a English high street in Birmingham you've lost all you've lost all of that and then the fact that you see not one, not two, not three, but five, okay, five motherfuckers chase after him with machetes, yeah, and that's where the video cuts off, and it says, who's to blame, uh, how about the failing police, how about the piss poor government, how about Birmingham Council, how about Birmingham Police, how about a failing educational system how about fatherless homes how about open immigrations which is wrong now bear in mind i'm an immigrant let me make this abundantly clear my accent great but guess what this was not the accent i was born with this was the accent i was forced to use the accent i was born with was irish okay why because my father first generation irish fresh off the boat do you understand that he was an immigrant. He emigrated here with his mum and his dad. He was born in Ireland, born in Southern Ireland. The bright part of Ireland, I might add. Okay? My last name, there's an entire county named the same name as mine. It's not hard to find out. It's the largest county in Ireland, Southern Ireland. Do some Googling. Anyway. So... <clears throat> that's who to, who's to blame I if you ask the world what is England known for they will tell you horrible weather bad teeth and a navy okay bad weather is not going to hurt them bad teeth is not going to hurt them so where the fuck is our navy why is our coast guard having to escort these and i'm gonna say this soldiers because that's what they are 
There's no women in there. There's no children in there. They're all men of fighting age. So don't escort them to our country. What you do is you turn those boats around, you point them into the middle of the ocean, and you let them go. And you say to them, you made the mistake of getting on a boat thinking you could come to a country and invade it. No, it stops. You do that a few times to set an example. Granted, you're going to get some backlash from countries like France. Who the fuck cares? You're France. Fight me. Maybe Italy. Again, who the fuck cares? You're Italy. You've gone bankrupt. No one cares. Argentina. <laughs> Please. We can kill you in our sleep. Even with our fucking... Our, our cadets. Our cadets could kick the living shit out of you. You tried to take the Falkland Islands from us. How did that go for you, Argentina? Hmm? Exactly. Have you tried since? No. Have you even looked at England and said the words trade him? No. You want to know why? Because we don't get anything from you. You are nothing to us. That is why I'm sorry. I've said this once. I'll say it again. We need back. Need to bring back the British Empire. We need to put some of you bitches back in your place. Sticking your nose in where it don't belong. We stopped the slave trade. England. We didn't start it. The Dutch East India Trade Company. A Danish company. From Denmark. They started it. We finished it. And we will finish it again if we have to. But in order for us to do that. We need to man the fuck up. So my proposal would be simply this. Every, and I mean every, illegal that has come here, that is here, and wants to come here, you will have to do minimum four years, four years of active combat duty. Which means you will go on a navy ship, you will go into the British Army, you will join the para regiments, you will join the infantry, and you will be sent to a conflict zone. You will fight. You will bleed. You will die. If you survive those four years, you will be given temporary asylum. And whilst you're under that temporary asylum, if you break the law even once, if you jaywalk, if you litter, if you spit, if you fucking anything, any minor infraction, any, and I mean any, you're gone. Now here's another kicker for you. You don't get access to the NHS, not even in that four years of your service. You don't even get that. You have to pay for your own private health care. And to the dickhead lawyers, barristers, whatever the fuck you want to call yourselves, that are trying to defend these bastards, I've said it once, I'll say it again. Do you take responsibility for when they do mass gang rapes? When they do assaults, robberies, murders. No, you don't. You just go, my job's done, and walk away. No, your job is not done. It's called responsibility. Take responsibility. Do you understand? And if you don't understand that, I'll put it in simple terms. I would also forcibly pass a law that says if any barrister is to legally represent a defendant, they are then responsible for that defendant. Do you understand? Which means you are now on permanent retainer to that defendant. You can't drop them. They can't drop you. And if they break the law again, you are also charged with conspiracy to that crime. Do you understand? That is called legal responsibility. That's called fiscal responsibility. Don't like that idea? Guess what? There's a boat. Get in it with them. Fuck off with them. Another thing, this is going to, again, this is, this, this, 
This is the, the faith side of me speaking when I say this. This is a Christian country, not a Muslim country. Fuck your Sharia laws. Okay? Fuck your Sharia courts. No more mosques. No more. One mosque per one city. That's it. One in London, one in Birmingham, one in Manchester, one in Leeds, one in Newcastle. One and only one in every major city. That's it. Don't like that fact? Fuck off. Go back to your shithole, as Donald Trump calls it. End of. End of. No more turning a little corner shop now into a mosque that gets full up with people and then collapses and people wonder, What the happened? Maybe it's because it's a house that was built prior to or just after World War Two, and that and literally was not designed to have 400 of you fucking people shoulder to shoulder. It's called a weight load limit. Even elevators have them. And another thing, we need to stop exporting everything. And I mean this. I would get everybody responsible for the sale of council housing. I would get everyone responsible for the lack of construction for new council housing, or Section 8 as it's called in America. And I would say to them, one, why are you stopping new constructions? Two, why are you selling off the rest of your constructions knowing that you can't build anymore? You're, you're defunding yourself and you're trying to find ways to refund yourself by doing this ULEZ shit, by doing this paper mile shit. But no, 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 no. You fucked it up. Stop going back to the people and trying to milk us like we're your fucking personal cash cows. You fucked up. You take responsibility. Here's your sword. Fall on it. Literally, fall on it. Do the right thing. Step down. Say you fucked up publicly. And I mean this. So you fucked up publicly, step down and take fiscal responsibility. Do you understand? Responsibility. And so all the bullshit assholes that have said no to new constructions. I can literally go less than two, three, three, three blocks. And there are abandoned, entire abandoned estate complexes. Which means their blocks are flats. But instead of being so tall, they're, they're actually wider. There is one literally just on the road I'm going. I get on the, the number six bus. It's boarded up. It's graffitied up. It's everything. Okay. You could get at least 18 to 20 homes out of that thing plus and some. And all you've got to do is go in, renovate it. And then go to the council and say, look, there's a couple of two bedrooms, a couple of one bedrooms. Get people off the streets and into these properties. Guess what? That's a fucking income for you. But no. They're leaving them all boarded up. I can go through Reading High Street and I can see old boarded up pubs, old boarded up businesses that have been that way. And I've been living here in Reading for about five years now. And they've always been boarded up. And to the assholes who buy property in the UK... And don't let anyone live in it. And just leave them empty and abandoned. I'm sorry. You lose that ownership of that property. No more foreign investment. No more foreign investment. End of. No more super PACs. No more nothing. No more big corporations doing this shit. No. None of that. If you own property here in the UK. And it's considered abandoned or no one living in it you lose all legal rights to it it gets reverted back to the fucking to the to the crown to the state end of want to piss moan and complain about it come to court and then legally explain to us why you chose to abandon property in the uk and not live in it i want to know Airbnb. no it's not prove it where's your ledger's book where's your log book all Airbnbs, all B&Bs have to have a signing book. It's a legal requirement. Modify that login book, guess what? You just broke the law. Whether it be digital or in paper, you still have to provide it. And guess what? The people that are in that log book will be contacted. They'll be dragged in front of court. And if they have caught lying, they will go to prison. 
and I'm not joking. Not 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 for ninety days. No 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 no. I would bang them up for a minimum of ten fucking years, and I will definitely bring back prisoner labors. Which means, guess what? Mines reopened. Coal, baby, coal. And a lot of those workers would be fucking prisoners. I mean, we need to stop exporting. We've got it here in England. Open up trade schools again. Seriously, open up trade schools. Welders, plumbers, bricklayers, painters, everything. Open up fucking trade schools. There's nothing wrong with learning a trade. I know how to plumb, I know how to weld, and I know how to do a whole bunch of fucking stuff. I believe that's my text message from my pharmacist. It is. It just let me know that it's in. It's ready to be picked up. Okay, point is, guys. All right, I've gone on a bit of a tangent, but my point still stays, stays, is, remains the same. We need to start holding people accountable, accountable. Okay, and there, there, there's talk of a fucking another lockdown. No, no, God no. If you even think about it, and I mean this, if anyone in the British government even thinks about ad saying the words lock and or down in a f in any way, shape or form, I am not the only one when I say this. We will find you. And you will live to regret even the first lockdown, let alone saying we're going to have to do it again. Because it's piss and piss weak people like you. They're even approved to have a fucking virus like that in the first place, even remotely manipulated. And it was. It's a known fact. Take a look at the E strain protein. Take a look at the M strain as well it clearly shows signs of human manipulation i.e gain of function i don't care who did it i just want them to own up i want them to confess this is why i'm going to ask hacker groups like anonymous fuck i'm even reaching out to fake Fake groups like F Society and the White Lotus. Seriously, people, we need to find out the who's, the what's, the where's. It needs to go on WikiLeaks. People need to be dragged out from the darkness that they think that they're safe. We need to get these golem motherfuckers and drag them out and take that ring from them and tell them, no ring for you. And we need to put them in a nice little circle. I mean, we need to show them what the meaning of the word is, take responsibility. The F French had it right. That's the one thing I've got to say about the French, is they get it right a lot when it comes to revolutions. Bring out the fucking guillotines. Notice how they hold the rich and the powerful who pass these laws. Account. The Russians even did it to, to a certain point. Killing off the Tsar's entire family, that was going too far. Especially the, the poor innocent children who had no say whatsoever in, in, in laws being passed. That's where I draw the line. Okay, Whoever's John Hancock is on that piece of paper approving that law, they're the ones responsible. Not their children. Not their wives. Not their mistresses. Not, not, not anyone else. We also need to take the money out of politics too. Both America and England and Australia and Canada. You, we, we desperately need to take the money, the finances out. If they are, if they're servants for the public. And this, this, this is something I want you to wrap your head around. Okay, If they are meant to serve the public. Why is it their tax reports, their income reports are private? If they're in the public eye. If their name's in the public eye, what have they got to hide? I don't know. Maybe the 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 the, the fees that you charge for speaking when no one attends. 
Yeah, I've, I've known that to be happen once in a while. And I'm not because it wasn't advertised. No, 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 no. It has to do with that fact that it never happened. Oh, I went to Canary Wharf, I went to Floor 30, and I gave a speaking engagement, and I got paid £30,000. No, you didn't. You sat on a beach in Ibiza, you looked at a phone, you laughed at a few memes, you checked your balance, and said, good job. You all do it. You all do it. The moment someone... And I mean this, and, and the prime example of this is, and I'm going to use an American as a prime example of this, and that American is going to be Jenny from the Block. Yes. Ocasio Cortez. By the way, your last name is the last name of a Spanish conquistador who enslaved the Aztecs. So if you want to talk about, you know, Indigenous people's rights. You're fucking one to talk. You're so fucking brain dead. You don't even know where your last name come from. <laughs> so. Let's just say. I was at the barmaid. And now I represent my part of New York. No, 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 you don't. You don't represent anyone. You are a puppet. George Soros has his hand so far up your cunt. He quite literally is wiggling his fingers and your mouth is moving. You do not have a thought in between those two googly eyes in your brain. You don't have a single thought at all. You can't. Because if you did, you'd be going, going against the DNC mandates. Literally, when you are held responsible for something that you or the DNC do, the first thing is, "What well, it was Trump's fault that he did that. Okay, how, how did you equate to a drug epidemic in New York to it being Trump's fault? Well, he didn't secure the border. Um, did he not try? Is there not a wall? 500 something miles of a wall that's been built. And did you or did you not including you yourself, Miss Cortez, not try to take him to court, not once, not twice, not thrice, but fucking God knows how many times, trying to get said wall stopped to be built. So no, uh, ipso facto, it's not Trump's fault, it's your fault. It's the DNC's fault. You just want illegal immigrants to come in so that they can do your grunt work so that you can steal elections. There, I said it. I'm British, I live in England, and that's what the whole world sees. Not just me. There is no such thing as fair politics in the US. It used to be innocent until proven guilty. Is that the case? How many times are you going to indict Trump? There's 50 states in the United States. Why don't you just put 50 indictments in front of the guy and just call it good? But guess what? You're not learning this lesson, so I'll put it to you in a simple term. The indictments are shit. They're not going to work. They're all fake. They're all fake news. And most importantly, every time you do indict him, every time you do utter his name, every time you do say anything or do anything about Trump, you just make him more powerful. The reason why he doesn't have to go to the debates, the reason why he doesn't have to... He, he technically doesn't even have to fucking do anything. He can just do... Well, your fearless, dumb leader did. Just sit in the basement and go, nah, I like ice cream. But he's not going to. And you want to know why? Because he knows he's so far ahead that if he keeps pushing now, if he keeps going now, he's going to end up like the rocket man. And you understand, you will be fucked. You will not even remotely get the house, the senate, or the floor. You will lose it all. It'll be... RNC, 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 and you can, all you purple-haired little freaks who don't know what fucking gender you are this morning, let alone what skin or race you are, can re all you want in the fucking streets. We are just going to point, we're just going to laugh, and we're just going to move on with our day. While you guys will sit there, snotting out of every fucking orifice that you own, crying, Orange man bad, because that's exactly all you can fucking do. Because you yourselves can't take responsibility for your own stupidity and your own actions. 
Am I mocking the disabled? No, I'm mocking you. Okay, get it right. I know a lot of disabled people and they're fucking cool as balls. And believe it or not, a lot of them are actually Trump supporters. So no, I'm not mocking the disabled people. Again, I'm mocking you, the idiots that are going to sit there and cry and re and all this shit. We can't, we can't, we can't. It could be one vote for Joe Biden, and that was Joe Biden, and everyone else, and I mean everyone else in the US has voted for Donald Trump, and you morons will still scream, we can't, we can't. It's not going to work. It's not going to work. You, you you will try gerrymandering and district changing and, and, and all this other stupid shit. Go ahead. You will try your fucking uh, uh, um, vote mandates and all this other fucking stuff. Oh, no, no. Now you need a state ID. You need... No. Simple. State approved ID that matches your actual ID. Okay. So driver's license. Valid driver's license, I might add. State ID. Valid state ID, I might add. Paper ballot. Open transparency in the ballot center, which means no boarding, boarding up windows, no boarding up walls, no, no magic suitcases showing up at 3 a.m. No, 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 no. Cameras 24-7 available for every Joe Blow public member. Do you understand? And I mean every fucking corner that gets to see everything from the person with the little fucking money counter on his finger going one, two, three, four, five, six. Nine, ten, ten for Trump. Marks it down. One, two, three. I mean everyone. Even when they go to take a piss, I want a fucking urine sample. Do you understand to make sure that that person's not on any kind of fucking minority drugs? I want zero doubt. Zero. No doubt. Like the band. Do you understand? No doubt. Nothing. You sada piss test them all if need be. I'm serious. Because that way, both sides lose it. And here's another thing. To the assholes that did that the last time. Okay, to the assholes that went ahead and knowingly, knowingly counted illegal ballots, modified ballots, knowingly, knowingly modified The 2024 elections. Uh, the, 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 the 2022 elections. You are going to burn in a very special place in hell. Do you understand that? To every single one of you motherfuckers. I don't care how much you got paid. And it's another thing. Even, even the ballot counters. From the lowest one to the highest one. Bank accounts. Checked. Crypto wallets checked. If any, and I mean any, mysterious donations of any kind, of any shape, or any form, or gifts of any shape, or any form, could be a Snickers bar, I don't give a shit, that person immediately gets removed. And a replacement takes their place. Zero. When I mean zero, I mean zero contradictions. If they are, if they if they voted Republican their entire life, not even them. If they voted Democrat their entire life, not even them. And I mean that. And I want paper. I, I want paper ballots with watermarks, just like you do on your dollars, just like you do on your money. Paper ballots with watermarks that can be checked simply with a UV pen. Psst. Fake. Psst. Real fake and i mean that i genuinely mean that and i want not only do i want local sheriffs there 24 7 keeping an eye on everything keeping the peace things of that nature but also keeping an eye on those fucking ballots and if something don't smell right if it doesn't pass the smell test if it doesn't pass the spider sense test or anything like that pull them to the side saying what the fuck are you doing Grill that motherfucker. And if they don't give you a, a, a decent answer, cuffs, jail. Go to jail. Rattle jail. Go to jail. Jail. Rattle jail. And I mean that. Oh, it's starting to rain. Yeah. I've got to go out now. But I mean it. That's the only way you're going to get a fair and clean election. No digital machines. 
No digital machines. Oh, well, they're, well they're, they're offline. They can't be. No. No digital machines. None. No digital. Analog, motherfucker. Analog. Punch cards, if need be. Do you understand that? You know, how, you know, how, how, how certain computers used to work with little <laughs> punch cards? Seriously. Work time punch cards. You're going. <laughs> Show them your ID. You sign it. They sign it. They then take it, put it in the ballot box. And they, they, they even rip off a little corner so you can match the corner to the corner. No two rips are ever the same. And if the rip don't match, sorry. I'm not even joking. And to make sure, this is another thing you can do, you can make the ballots different colors. Blue for Democrat, red for Republican. And stop wearing these stupid I voted stickers. Okay, seriously, just stop. Stop, just stop. Doesn't mean shit. Okay. I voted, okay. Just stop. And and assholes that wait outside to ask you where you voted. Again, that is voter manipulation. Get them out. Freedom of the press? No. That's that's not a freedom of Jeez Louise. He is absolutely pissing down out there. Can you hear it on that window? Uh, well, the grinding stopped. <laughs> Be grateful for small mercies. But I mean, there's tons of different ways you can do it. That, ha that has nothing to do with it being digital. Fingerprint, even. Fingerprint. There you go. Slide a piece of paper on you. Thumb. Black ink. Put it down on, on, on Biden or, or Trump or whatever you, whoever you want. You know, it's signed, it's dated, it's watermarked. Done. That's it. You now leave. Your thumbprint, your fingerprint is literally your voice. They can then match that fingerprint to you. So guess what? They run those fingerprints through a database, which gets deleted at the end. So don't worry about your privacy. So the, the, the fingerprints get deleted at the end. Any fingerprints that are a duplicate... In any way, shape, or form, you know, guess what? Sorry, illegal ballot. Out it goes. Person's flagged. Then arrested. For voting, for, 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 for electoral interference. Treason. And make that treason. That's another thing. And actually bring back power to the Senate. I'm sorry. The fact that you go, ouchie, fouchie, literally just sits there and lies... Did he get any blowback? Did he get any kind of consequence? No. Why? Because no one fears Congress anymore. Give Congress the ability to put people in jail regardless of who the fuck they are. And I mean that. I didn't just go... Drag him. Kicking and screaming. Cameras flashing. For you some... Bah, shut it. You know? Send him to fucking jail. Let him rot in there for 90 days. No bail, no bond, no nothing. He just sits there. No phone calls. Nothing. He doesn't even get a lawyer. I mean that. No lawyer. He will get a lawyer assigned to, to him when he comes out. He, get, he, he literally gets put into a think tank. Which means he has to think. No phone, no TV, no radio, no nothing. The only book he gets is the Holy Bible. That's it. So we can make peace with God. Lies again. And is caught lying. Sorry. Treason is punishable by death. You've got a choice. A. Firing squad. B. Public hanging. Or C. Public lynching. Take your pick. They're not cruel. They're not unusual. And they were the punishments at the time. Back in the day. When you lied to Congress. Look it up. Civics tests, yes. Uh, even though, like I said, I've tried to... to, to uh, I lived in America for thir 13, 14 years. Loved it. Loved it. Do I think immigrants should take a civics test? Absolutely. Do I think US citizens should take a civic test? Absolutely. Because it will fucking surprise you at how many people fail 
US civics. There's a guy on Instagram who does this thing where he, he, he I'm not sure if he's a teacher or something, but he does this, these videos where he's got two people and they either do like, um, 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 holding books on their hands or, or, uh, uh, being dangled over a pool and they're asked five questions. If they get, if they get three wrong, they get dunked into the pool. Okay. It's amazing how a lot of them are US students between the ages of 16 to in their mid to late twenties. And they can't even get basic geology, but ba ba basic US questions correct. Like, what does this mean? What does that mean? How many branches of government are there? Basic fucking civics. And they can't even get that right. And they think, but because they were born in that country, they're immune to knowing what that country is about. You are so fucking wrong. I'm sick and tired of people in America bitching and saying that they need a vacation so they go to the Bahamas or they go here or they go there. Moron, you quite literally have about 17 different climates in your country. Do you understand that? You want a dry heat? Go to New Mexico. Go to Arizona. Go to the, the panhandle part of Texas into Oklahoma. You want a, a humid uh, uh, climate? Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina. If you want snow, you've got Utah, Colorado. You've got... I can, it, 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 you don't have to travel around the world, okay? You don't. I've driven from the west coast of the US to the east coast. I've traveled from the south to the north. I literally traveled to probably close to 40 something states in the US. Loved every single one of them. The only one I had a bit of an iffy time with was Texas. Um, but that's a personal preference. But other than that, every state I've ever been to is just beautiful. It's just fine. Mind you, I did come across some really cool people in Texas. So I can't really say that. Sorry, just adjusting my belt strap on my trousers. There we go. So, no, I... It just... It really upsets me, you know? The direction we're going, humanity is going... I wouldn't say it scares me, it more upsets me. Because I wanted to leave this place, oh, I wanted to leave this planet better off than it was when I first got here. I haven't failed in that task. I've passed on what knowledge I know to the people that I know that could use it the most. Um, but, again, term limits for the Senate is another thing. That would definitely get rid of the corruption. Term limits for the Senate. You watch how fast George Soros and the Bilderberg Group and all these other fucking super PACs pull out of both Republican and Democrat DNCs quicker than, you know, a girl saying she's, you know, she's not on the pill and you ain't wearing a rubber. Excuse me? But they won't do that. Oh, by the way, you do realise that that's what the invocement was in the actual Declaration of Independence, right? When they said that, because it was George Washington. I'll give you a little civics civics lesson of your own. It, it was George Washington that said, no, anyone in power, please note he said anyone in power, not the president. Anyone in power should be ser should, should, should serve a term limit no more than eight years. Because he didn't want America to turn into England full of fat, lazy, corrupt people. And that's exactly what America has become. Because notice that's the one thing both sides of the aisle will gladly join sides on with, which is anything to do with their power. They want a pay raise. They all come together. Kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya. Term limits, they will come together. No, my lord, my no, kumbaya. It's amazing. Yet everything else they want, they bicker. You want to know why? Because it doesn't serve their benefits. They just want, 
their time in the spotlight. They just want to be on CNN or MSNBC or YouTube or Forbes or wherever. It doesn't serve their purpose. They're peacocking. Seriously, ask yourself this. How many times have you had a disagreement with a partner of yours? Boy, girl, don't matter. How many times have you had a disagreement with your partner and in a space of like five, ten minutes made up? Made up and moved on. And I mean that. And you're now on something completely different. All the fucking time. So what's stopping Matt Gates and Cortez from agreeing on one thing. You have so many fucking commissions and panels and whatnot and committees overse overseeing everything to the point where some senators have to literally hopscotch from one to the other because whoever sets their timings up to be in the office, yeah, it, it, it's like, no, you don't have to run around like a headless chicken, okay? You don't. All you need to do is say, what do you want from us? Okay, you want a trillion dollars, okay. Can you care to explain this, 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 and this? If you can't, you don't get the money. Who's to blame for this, 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 and this? Oh, you are? Are you going to take responsibility? No? You don't get the money. Oh, you want us to renew your law and your act that allows you to do this and this and this and this and this and this and this. Knowing that you've abused it in the past. Openly admitting that you've abused it. And you want to abuse it even more. This is reverse Stockholm Syndrome, you know that, right? You're literally asking us to allow you to abuse us even more. Guess what? Not going to happen. How hard is that? How hard is that? Stop putting the burden of proof on the actual people that have to say yes or no. Put the burden of proof on the person who's asking for it. That's how it works. And then the next time I read or hear about a company saying no more white people, no more this, no more that, no more whatever, you know what I'm going to start doing? I'm... I will start my own company and I will blatantly say no Irish, no blacks, no ethnicities other than white. And the moment they turn around and say, well, that's racist. I'm like, no, all I've done is taken what was posted here by this company and removed all the words but white. That's not racist. That, that right there to you is not racist. But this is. Why? Oh, because you're under the, the excluded section and not in this one? You, you have selective racism. Racism is racism. It doesn't matter if your skin's white, black, brown, whatever. Racism is racism. End of. Anyway, this rant's been going on for far too fucking long. Holy shit. Ah, coffee's done. Video's done. I'll see you in the next one.